What is up, you beautiful people? Stone here, and today we're back at my time at Sand Rock, and boy, do I have a lot to share with you, because I did a lot of research into different things, because in the last part, I got some of my... We, a lot of the stories going on, but besides that, a lot of my side antics are going crazy in the realm of... Uh, I was like, oh yeah, I can get pets, so I'm, I'm stocked up on some pet stuff. I think Nemo's gonna be my first pet. I got plenty of shiny scorpions, but then I learned that... If you give somebody the same thing every day, it won't have as big of an impact on them. So, I gotta find out what else he likes. But also, when I was looking at that, I was just looking at other social interactions. And apparently, the whole thing, I was wondering, because this gets pretty tedious of every day having to feed and pet each individual uh, creature here and uh, clean up their poo and all this other stuff. And then, like, this isn't so bad because this is pretty quick, but... Yeah, apparently, you can get certain things automated, but in order to do that, uh, I have to get far enough into the story where the mirror, I guess, can be our friend, and then she can do stuff, but also, we can get married to people, and when you get married to somebody, they can move into your place, your residence, and then uh, they can uh, do favors for you, which is a very nice, I would love that, it's wonderful. The only thing that sucks about that is that my favorite lady, Amira, apparently, is the laziest person on the planet, because... <laughs> There is, like, a total amount of action points people get, plus, uh, there's, like, certain things that they just won't do. And I guess Amira won't clean up and do anything with the animals. So, what I want to do is, I think either, I, I was gonna do Venti, because Venti, uh, apparently the AP, I'll just give you an example of why Amira is so bad. Amira starts with six, but then I've, I guess you can, ca like, somehow increase their action points to, uh, a higher number. So, she starts at six and then ends at eight. And then Venti, which is just a random lady I didn't think you could, uh, like, talk to like that, or get into a relationship with, uh, she starts at 10, and then goes to 20. It's, it's crazy, but I tried to talk to her a little bit to see what her favorite things are, and just, like, get a feel for her, and, oh my goodness, her voice, I don't, I'm sorry, you're probably a wonderful person, whoever voice acts her, but she is just, I just... Some things, whether you like it or not, you just can't, your brain can't handle, and her voice, I can't handle, so the best person besides her would be Mian, but, I don't know, part of me feels bad about that, because she's always, I don't want to take away from what she's doing just to help me, I mean, maybe if she helps me, then I could do better things, but she's always trying to help people, so, a part of me, I know it's just a video game, but I like, I like having stock and things, and just playing things out, and being nice, and she's always doing her thing, but, uh, I don't know, I, I, maybe we'll swoon me in, and then we'll have her live with us, and then, in my brain, I could just say, hey, now, uh, you have all my resources, and I, I have your labor in a way, and you have my labor, and we can help each other out, because that's what a marriage is. So, I think we're going to try to marry me and So, enough of that. All the uh, babble and drabble out the way. Let's get into some action, because uh, don't we have, like, a main story mission we can do? It's been a minute since I played this game, so uh, I guess we could go to the Civil Corps, and then we can speak to Miguel and Pan, yes, and find out more about this nefarious, devious plan they had, because a lot went down in the last part. If you don't know, uh, you better check it out before y you're like, wait, what the frick is happening? Greetings. Ready to step into the tiger's den, as it were? I get it, I guess, because one of them is called Tiger, or they're both called Tiger. I think Miguel is. He's probably the one that talks to the other Duvos people, the evil people trying to start this war. Let's do it. Alright, let me just get you up to speed on the game plan. I've been going over their files, and I think the trick is going to be a classic prisoner's dilemma situation. We'll put them apart, interrogate them separately, uh -oh. and then cross-check info to poke holes in their stories. Our best bet is to start with Penn. All brawn, no <laughs> brains. When we go after Miguel, we're going to need more ammunition. Facts, evidence, all that. Pen might give us something we can work with. Speaking of which, what are we working with already? There's Mason's confession, those burnt letters, all the pictures we took, and Miguel's self-incrimination during the confrontation. And through it all, let's uh, keep our cards close to our chest. Try not to let them know what we're really after. Keep them guessing and all that. Why? All right, ready? Why am I here? I know this is cool and all, and it's like nice to have the like the main character be a part of the story. But I'm just a builder. Like, where? Why? Why are you giving me these credentials and this power? Skinny. 
surprising to see you here. Where'd we put Miguel? Again, you are the do it all around here. Oh, and you brought the fry cook. Splendid. <laughs> so my complaints about the food have been heard. <laughs> I'm asking questions for the civil core. I don't want right. to let. I don't want to lead them on to uncover her identity. I forgetting. I'm sure you have. I thought he said civil corn. Maybe I'm hungry. No omelets today, I'm afraid. I'll just be here writing down your conversation. I have been chosen for my pencil speed, forged in the fires of taking lots of orders. <laughs> right, right. I, I, I see. You're trying to tie it all together wow, for the cool. backstory. Imagine that being something you can actually pride yourself on. Wow, why is this? Why is he being a booty hole? I know you got caught, but come on, be a little bit humble. Ask away. How long have you been a Duvo spy? Right, sure, sorry. I hate to be unhelpful, but... <laughs> Skinny, is this your first time interrogating someone? It's okay, you can tell me. Well, not the first. I've crap criminal masterminds. No, I haven't. Um... Do I just stay calm and cool, collected? Yeah, I'm just gonna well, not answer his weird. I happen to be a master of interrogation, and since you were always my favorite, I can offer a bit of advice. Really? Normally, the trick to getting someone to talk is through excruciating violence, but since it's me we're talking about, better go for a bribe. Bribe, huh? All right, I'll <laughs> bite. What will it take for you to talk? Rooster wings. Extra crispy. Ten buckets a day, and don't be stingy with that sea cyan sauce. <laughs> you know the one, the red kind with not too many calories, but it's sweet with just a little bit of tang. Utterly perfect for dipping. <laughs> why, why are you even laughing about chicken sauce? What the? Uh, really? You'll betray your comrades for chicken wings? I would sooner betray any empire than betray my own physique. The window for my daily gains is closing. I need protein now. Not this paltry rabbit food you corpsmen attempt to pass off as cuisine. Um, no way, it's a trick. We do not negotiate with Duvos for uh, fried terrorists. <laughs> um, do we negotiate? I mean, it's just food at the end of the day. Is it really going to power him up like a Super Saiyan or something? I don't know. The... Oy, oy, oy. What are these options? <laughs> no way, it's a trick. I say we go for it. Yeah, sure, why not? Good, but wait a sec. What evidence is there that I have anything to do with Duvos? Eyewitness statements? A regular and extra attractive mercenary. Well, let's show him. Uh, what's the best proof? Mason's confession, burnt letters, Grace's photos. He could still just be a mercenary. We don't know that he's working with Duvos. Miguel could have just hired him. Do I say... I forget what the confession was in the burnt letters were. Maybe I'll just say Mason's confession. That's a lot of words. <laughs> so, Mason built all that stuff and then implicated himself with a confession. <laughs> what a rookie! <laughs> Got nothing to do with me, though. Uh, I'm not sure how we can implicate him with this. I didn't know. I, I did burnt letters? Mm, burned letters? Burned omelets? I'm starting to see a pattern here. Say, has anything else burned down in this town? Why isn't Grace here under investigation? She did set the kitchen on fire. Which, uh, lets me th think that, yeah, m like, maybe that was the first telltale sign of, hey, uh, she's not actually a cook, so it makes a lot of sense now that we look back on it. Hindsight is 2020. How can we implicate him? So I guess it was the thing that I thought was the least likely? Oh, come on. That could be any ridiculously good-looking, muscular hunk of a man. Uh, who says it's me? Okay, fine, I was there, but it's just a picture. Could mean anything. Where did you say for the Empire? We heard Miguel call you a knight. Yeah, he did call you a knight multiple times. Sorry, never mentioned that before. Did I just hurt your feelings? What? Knight, protector, enforcer, big daddy love sponge. I go by Love knight sponge? Alright, well, how about when you and Miguel both told each other for the Empire. Uh, yeah, you heard that, huh? 
Dang, Skinny. You super stealth snuck into our totally secret sanctuary. That's pretty sweet. Okay, so yeah, just don't forget our deal. How about this? You talk and I'll go make your stupid chicken wings right after this. All right, fine. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth. Really? But here it is anyway. <laughs> Miguel I'm pretty sure I can handle it. Me. Yeah, that's it. He told me. Uh, Why you're and you're convincing yourself and, right in front of me? Uh, oh. I was in a bind. I have multiple obligations. Do you have any idea how expensive the holidays are when you're shopping for 12 separate lovers who all wow. think they're my one and only? <laughs> Why'd you get yourself into that situation? Cry me a river. I had no choice. I needed the money from his schemes. Oh. He said if I protect him, he'd give me a portion of his dirty money. Now that I think about it, say... Do you think he could be some kind of high-level Duvos operative? Certainly seems like it. Well, duh. I'm not trying to do your job for you or anything, though. <clears throat> yeah, well, anyway, that's all I know. Say, do I get anything for helping in your investigation? A reduced sentence? We're getting you chicken wings! Pen and all that. In addition to the previously agreed upon chicken wings. You <laughs> Hey, we had a deal, didn't we? I scratch your back, you scratch mine. <clears throat> I'm so itchy. <laughs> He's not lying? Um think I get the idea. Cool. So yeah, like I said, basically innocent. So how do we wrap this up? I have to sign something or something? Yeah? Uh, uh, uh. First. The chicken. Right. I can get you the first bucket now. So is he actually going to talk? Because we didn't even right get anything out of him. Line. After all that. Whibby! All right. Looks like we're done here. Do let me know when you're ready for me to rejoin society. Uh, hey, this wasn't all some big scam to get my autograph, right? <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> this freaking dude. Guy's I can't stand it. Than I would have given him credit for. Yeah, he didn't really give us anything. Very true. It all seems a little too easy. Very unlikely that he's telling us everything. Let's cross-check some of what we talked about with Penn when we talked to Miguel. I'll have the civil court. But we didn't talk here. about anything. Unless I totally mit like what? Greetings. Have you brought me here for a private sermon? Not exactly. Indeed, I have. Or I can call anywhere under the light my home sweet home. As for the rather cramped compartments, well, suffering is said to make the spirit stronger. Hmm. Injured a colleague. Tried to have us all killed. No signs of remorse. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I could go for a sermon or two. No, no. And I'll be keeping a record of the conversation. I don't want to stay here any longer than I have to. a fly on the wall. One uncharacteristically unafraid of spiders. Yes, I have surmised your purpose very well. Allow me to put the rumors to rest. No, I am not some Duvos agent. I collaborated with them, and that is all. It is no secret that I admire the Duvosian doctrine, their boldness and order. But this is no crime. Attempted murder against Logan? Sure. Conspiracy against Sandbrook? Guilty as charged. But a spy? No. My actions were my own. Why hide water? Well, we know he was talking to somebody. There are many ways to skin a cat. Many ways to fell an empire. I chose to do my part in helping Sandrock reach its natural end. To assist in the inevitable takeover. The weaker the alliance, the less blood will be shed on the battlefield. Truly, my So you're trying to do a mercy is this whole thing you're you're I telling yourself. You're universe. doing the, the best thing you could in given this whole situation. Even though it drove you to commit treason against the very people you swore to look after? I am but a humble servant of the light. 
Once upon a time, the light was almost snuffed out by darkness due to human bickering and division. The effects are still reverberating today. I will never allow that again. Are we done here? Though I'd love to stay, I'm afraid there's no more tale left to tell. Hmm. Show him what the mean? evidence that we have gathered. Weird words. I mean, you have to stay here. Uh, what's the best proof? Mason's confession. Burnt letters. Maybe the burnt letters? What of it? Can you explain what they are? That's so I communicated with Dubos. Isn't this obvious? An associate would come into town and hand deliver the communication. But I haven't communicated really? in person? With them since the plan was set in motion many years ago. That is not a lie. That can't be right. You sent the telegrams to Dubos about the water tower recently. No. I didn't. Why? Uh, Why are those see. green letters? If you're trying to fish for more information, there's no point. Since I have nothing to hide. That is also not a lie. How do you know it's not a lie? What's the best proof? Mason's confession? Familiar? Hmm. Mason hid this somewhere? No matter. Then I wish that he gets the penance he seems to have yearned for. Mason mentions you and Yen in the letter, but nothing about Pen. Why might that be? Pen wasn't involved at the time of construction. That should have been... obvious. I hired perhaps the most easily corruptible commerce guild leader ever to exist. Yeah, yeah, I, I bet. This is a secret to no one. I'm glad he's gone, though. Uh, what about this photo? Caught in the act. Seems our days were always numbered. Well done. Very well executed. You managed to evade my observant eye and the one of that bumbling so-called knight. Didn't you say there were some Duvos telegrams intercepted and decoded by the Alliance right before the water tower incident? The water tower is ready. Yeah, the water tower in town has been successfully hidden. No, it was the... is ready. I'm ready impressed. for what? You guys are certainly going to the extreme to try to get me to open up. But like I told you, I have nothing to hide. My plan doesn't even involve the water tower. Plus, they knew that we were successful in our plan a long time ago. We didn't make this up. So you're saying what? <laughs> Somebody from Dumas sent telegrams that could blow my entire operation. Just what? Unless... <laughs> what? You really Is there gonna be another big know? reveal? Wait, what's going on? Did Duvos just abandon you? Uh... Yeah, what's it going on? like someone from Duvos wanted to sabotage Miguel's plan. Hmm. Huh, you but why? Something? No. My Duvos contacts were always upfront with their intentions for the human race. I... I can't imagine them betraying me or the cause. Well, you betrayed us. What about Penn? He's... He's an agent from Duvos here to aid me. Did he do it? Why would he betray our plan? And where would he send telegrams? He doesn't have access to the telegraph in the city hall. It makes no sense. Huh. Are you Tiger? I don't know who that is. Oh, so somebody else is called... So is there another Duvos spy in town? Oh boy. This means... What? Pen is Tiger? A telegraph machine is out there. Miguel doesn't know anything. Pen is Tiger. Wait, so is Pen acting dumb? Pen is Tiger? Maybe. We'll have to ask him again. But we'll also need to find the telegraph machine that's still out there. If Miguel doesn't know, it means there might be another Duvos plot out there using the water plan as a diversion. But Pen would know, wouldn't he? He was there to intercept Logan at the water tower right after the telegram pointed out that exact location. In retrospect, it was a trap. I still find it hard to believe. What would Duvos or Pen gain from betraying my operation? If you're the sacrificial lamb... Hmm. I will get to the bottom of this. That'll be all. Will you from inside here? I find it quite unbelievable that Miguel really thought he was doing the right thing. As long as he can sleep at night, I guess. All right, let's get Pen back. He's a very concise man and like literal, so I can see where he probably thinks that way. Pretty easily. 
So who are we talking to now? Back to Pen. Long time no see. Yes. Enjoy your chicken wings. Brought me back for some reason. Had a nice chat with your pal Miguel. Oh yeah. What he? What he tell you? Why are you so nervous and sweaty? No. How about everything? What? I thought that guy was like super devout. Duvos for life. Blah blah blah. The end is nigh and all that. We know about the telegraph station. Right, yeah, okay. No idea what you're talking about. Yeah, he's nervous as hell. Time to lawyer up. And that you set up a trap for Logan at the water tower with the telegram message. La la la! No, <laughs> not hearing this. Plus, you tossed Miguel and his plan under the bus to hide a bigger plan. Whoa, you're still talking. And I still have no idea. What conspiracy is Duvos hiding out there? Ah, uh, I need my lawyer. And, uh, do I still get the chicken wings? Yes, but no seaside sauce. No chicken, yeah, no sauce. He really loved that sauce. You monster! <laughs> Without the seaside and sauce, what's even the point? It's so dry and hard to swallow without the dipping sauce. Aren't there laws against this kind of cruel and unusual punishment? No, especially when you're not cooperating. All right, that's enough from you. Pen is dangerous. I couldn't tell if he's telling the truth or not, and I'm really good at that. We Are you serious? His voice was exactly so shaky. What we're talking about, and that there's a bigger conspiracy afoot. Ugh, I'm not feeling well. Hey, y'all. Just thought we'd check in. Just cleared all this evidence. You could take a look through it if you like. This stuff was in their possession. Sure, let's have at it. Let's see if we can find any clues to the whereabouts of the secret telegraph machine. I thought it was in City Hall, they said. Or Miguel said. Somebody said it was in City Hall. So we just gotta look around, move around some stuff. List of Sandrock residents. Uh, what could this be for? Oh, I already found two clues. Uh-huh. I've got it. It's a code. Or rather, a key, key to, a, to cipher. a cipher. Okay, so we found a bunch of clues that they had, and then we went around town talking to some people, and we found out that his music is a code. The lyrical mistakes are particularly placed. Left, three, right, five, up, eight, down, seven. If we use this cipher, we can crack any message intended for Pen or Miguel. Hmm. Really? Is that easy? That's the a pretty basic mistakes? cipher. I spot five of them. Five numbers in your average radio frequency. Doubt that's a coincidence. That music must be the frequency they're operating on. And this frequency is different from what we intercepted before. That means Duvos knew we were listening before, and the telegrams they sent us must have been fishing operations to get me and Logan into the open. Oh no, so we've all... You, we've fallen for their plans. Dang, we did it! We can did put we, our though? interrogation on hold. We've got everything we yeah. need to find the secret telegraph station right here. Um, call Duvos and ask where it is. Can we track them? Exactly. Oh, we can track them? to be pen. We send encoded messages out on the agreed upon frequency. And if anyone is at the telegraph station, we can triangulate them after they respond. AC can we? How are we going to do that? But they're Just huge. By There's saying no it? no way we can ship them here and install them without the enemy knowing exactly what we're doing. Oh, okay. I'm going to update the civil court in City Hall about this. Could you talk to Chi and ask him if it's possible to make a miniature signal triangulation device? If there Sounds is, then good. If anybody could do it, it's G. It'll probably take a day or so, though. Right, Let's do this thing! Oh, hell yeah, this is the best thing ever. I remember this happening last time, but I never actually came over here to check until I needed some more materials from this abandoned mole cave. But apparently the moles can help me in getting all these materials, including all this nice stuff. Iron ore, magnesium, chromium, and nickel, magnesium, aluminum, and then... What about these rare ores? Titanium, zinc, and silver. I have no idea why I need these. But actually, what I really need isn't here right now. Uh, I'm still going to do this, but I'm trying to look for limestone, and I can't remember where I get that. I can just look it up in the encyclopedia, but let's spend some of our monies to get this, and then I need to upgrade it, confirm, and then upgrade it again. Look at that! And then I think this these contracts last until the end of the year. So, active till day one of spring year three, order type, yes, yeah, see supply list. And then these are all cranked up to the maximum, very, very pleasing, can't wait to get these in the future. Oh man, to have everything automated and brought to me, it's gonna be exquisite. I have to get water, because you can't get water apparently on rainy, or not rainy days, you, 
Uh, you absolutely can, almost too much, but uh, you can't get any water on sandstorm days, which it is. But we went to go buy some water because everything is out and depleted. It sucks. Everything's terrible, but we have enough resources that we can rebuild the peach statue. Oh, it's so sick. Nice. Wowee. Nice one. Glad you like it, Burgess. Now our peach looks as young as the day he was when he was immortalized <laughs> for this particular image that we seem to use for all the peach statues. Right. Everybody saw follows the same formula. Look who it Why do is. I look so down? Is Everyone it just because of the wind? Favorite mayor architect duo. <laughs> what brings you to our neck of the woods? Say, have you seen what the builder did with the statue? Pretty ace, if I do say so myself. Oh, that looks so well done. Fine work indeed. I dare say our peach looks as young as the day he... Uh, right? Yeah, it's hard to... The day that they decided to make the statue. The day he was immortalized for this particular image yeah. that we seem to use for all the beach statues? Right, right, right. Mm. Well, well said. That's not I a mouthful at all. Anyone's spirits, but I'm afraid we have some less than stellar news to report. Oh, man, what now, Trudes? Oh, no. <laughs> Don't worry. It's not the end of the world. We've been down to check on the Oasis water source, done some measurements. We thought the water thieves were really straddling that relic, but... Well, have you noticed the water level going up lately, Burgess? Our Oasis water comes from a relic? What? Indeed, this is sour news. I'll need some time to reflect on the ramifications <laughs> of such a revelation. What? The sacred water I hold so near and dear to my heart comes from and it goes throughout all your body yeah all right forgot that might be something that would bother you yeah that he's devout in the light news. wasn't even the bad news oh no he's been through a lot lately what's the bad news uh, we can come back later no no let's just yeah yeah i love that motto hell yeah bear just uh all right we didn't actually find the machine that generates the oasis water. It's somewhere deep oh, underground. Oh, so we gotta go exploring. That's cool. Water into the oasis to the maximum, the water level isn't going up. We think the relic is on its last leg. We're going to have Chi take a look at it, but for now, we're going to need to keep the water conservation policy same as it ever was. Right, right, right. So nothing's really as changed. It ever was. Same as it ever was. Don't you all worry about me. I'll keep doing my Why are they best, repeating after each other? Just like I know you will, too. Thank you, Pastor <laughs> He's so Burgess. chipper. I'm glad we ran into you, too. We'll update you on the Wait, did he become the new pastor because Miguel's gone? Stay strong, everyone. The Porsche road will be done soon. Oh, man, I can't wait to see what it's going to look like with the whole road going through town. Everybody loves me. The last one goes right up here. So I actually had to, at first I was like, wait, why, what's going on? I made one. What's happening? But then it's like, then I realized, like, oh, you probably have to make three of these. It's not like one thing that triangulates. It's four things that do. But then you're also, we just let anybody find us because then now there's like three beacons here that are pointing to the the middle of our where everybody gathers so at any given night if somebody knows we're all here they could just call in an airstrike or something that would be terrible oh no what have we done what have we done i don't know if this is the best idea yes i am here can you explain that again the part where you said this is not a joke <laughs> this is not a joke grace is with alliance central intelligence she's leading an operation here seeking out any further devotion activity we need to help her in any way that we can. I see. It's just, I was really enjoying all of this, and now I'm not. Now you're not enjoying it? Why? You don't have to be having a good time, Director. Just do your job. <laughs> just listen to how she talks to me, ma'am. <laughs> Grace, could you perhaps be a little nicer to Director Chi? Oh, Light, you two are some of the brightest folks we've got in this town. Would it kill you to get along for the sake of the mission? I think they bicker because underneath it all, they're actually a lot alike. Dang! We are nothing alike. <laughs> um, oh, fine. point proven. We're almost done here anyway. I will tolerate the fry cook's rudeness. Based on really? The cipher, you know she's an agent and you're still going to call her fry cook, G? What again? 
The Civil Corps has been on the strictest patrol regimen of their lives. It can't be any of our people. Uh, who... Uh, who could be out there doing something like this? Guess we'll find out soon. Indeed you will. Since the builder is here, we can assume all the triangulators are in place and operational. Yes, yes, yes. Unless somebody knew that we were doing that and they just went around breaking them all as I placed them. signal and we'll have the location. Now, if this signal source is very far away, I can't promise anything. So, with that, I turn it over to our mayor. Duvos is going to find out that we did this. How is the Alliance going to react? And then, I mean, we're only going to get one shot at this, right? Right, and is the Alliance going to be mad at us? We, we're not even talking to any higher ups before we do this mission. Maybe, what, maybe if we told somebody in the higher power about this, they could make sure the this whole ordeal goes off without a hitch. Uh, and you know what else is uh, super easy and never goes off without a hitch, or always does? I forget. I just made myself a word salad and then I drowned in it. So what what, what I'm trying to say is you can go below the video and hit all this other stuff like the like, the comment, the subscribe, and even the bell. I'd mostly appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. You're the best, and it helps me out a lot. Well. To something out why? There. Oh, it's because of my veil thing. I don't know why sometimes it does this and other times it doesn't. But right, it looks like right. I, there's a fog inside and there's a sandstorm Maybe outside. Postpone. Uh, think things through a bit more. I just say we go for it. <laughs> we have to tell the alliance eventually, and like Grace said, Dubos will find out as soon as we do. We can't keep putting this off. What do you think? Uh, let's call him now. It's a bit risky. Whatever you guys want to do. Yeah, I'm just a builder. Whatever you guys want to do. I'm going to be a little flippant with it. I don't know why. I just feel like that's funny. It's now or never, guys. I'm with the ACI agent, Mayor. And a surprise turn of events. And for the first time publicly, I'm with her too. <laughs> well, if I'm the only one holding out. All right. Make it so. Fire up the telegraph. Ooh, that felt decisive. Yeah, and that's not like you. That's but cool. I still then. don't know how she became yeah, mayor. in place. The wire's hot. Everyone ready? Oh boy! Wait, why are we all over all here? Right, oh, so that's the telegraph. Message. I was like, which one is it? Convincing. It's not the fan or the Let's grandfather clock. With... This is Duvos HQ. Wait, this isn't. This is Sandrock Base. Is this? This is the Emperor. Wait, what? No, this is Sandrock uh, Base. Pretend to send a telegram to ourselves. And oh, who's I thought we were sending one out, not in. Wait, what is going on? Anyway. Let's say we're their HQ just checking in. I think that's as good as anything. As for the content of the message... Um, Tiger has been caught. Beware, new telegraph. Who dis? <laughs> really? <laughs> that's good. I just want to see what they say. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like that's not how Duvos informs its secret operatives that it has new equipment. Let's just ask for a report. Dude, I just want to troll these people. Come on. Okay, let's do this. Got the cipher right here. Report in. This is HQ. Are they gonna give it back soon? No, I mean. Maybe send another message. No, they might not even be near it yet. Well. You might have to give it a day. Didn't work. Contact. Here's the reply. Why is it all glowing red? Like danger, danger. HQ. Extraction. Extraction. In final step. Awaiting orders. Trying to re-establish contact with Tiger. Extraction. The final step. Wait. We're looking for Tiger. Keep them on the line. What? I thought Tiger was the person we're looking for. They're asking, Tiger, are you on this frequency? Please respond. Do we respond with something? And in the name of the light, what are my orders? My muscles are ready, <laughs> reading loud and clear. I am Tiger. <laughs> I'll just say, I am. well, my muscles are reading loud and clear. If we're trying to make... If Pen is the one we think that was doing the messages, which is what I do ah, think. Pretending to be Pen. All right, makes sense. Let's try. <laughs> Who is this? What is your code, Tiger? Oh. Drat. Keep them on the line. Almost there. HQ, please advise. They might not buy that we're Tiger, but they still think HQ is on the line. Wait, so is Tiger the person from HQ? I'm getting all my things muddied around. I don't know what's going on. This is why I am not a secret agent. I am just a builder. 
Give me one more, and we've got them. Continue with plan assist, Tiger. You do those losers are going down. Get out of my town. Uh, continue with plan? Attention, attention. Tiger has been compromised, HQ. Switching to plan Zeta. Signal location received. We've got them. It's northeast of here. Finally. Okay, northeast. Can't wait to go knock on that Like, way northeast? Because north, north from us is Zeke. Northeast from us... A little bit of a ways is Mort. And I doubt it's both of those guys. They're beautiful people. Uh, but if we go further, if we go like directly northeast, that might take us to that one area we went to when Logan uh, abducted Matilda. So. HQ, copy. Switching to Plan Zeta. Jam all signals. Occupy Sandrock. Cut the rail links. Signal blackout now. Whale Express en route. What Whale Express? What what's going on right now? Everything's going down. They're cutting off all routes. They're gonna make us go into a blackout during a sandstorm. Oh hell! Crap. Yeah. Crap, crap, crap. We've got <laughs> no signal going out. It really is jammed. Oh, so we can't call for help. Well, they're sending an airship to invade us. Dubos airship can hold armies in them. Why? Why are they doing this? This will mean war with the entire alliance. To finish their extraction to save their agents, they're bluffing. I think they just want to finish that their extraction. I mean, we could be a bluff, but we don't want to take that chance. First thing they said in the report. Maybe they're not what or who are they extracting? Agents. I mean, did they say they were coming for Logan? Something. Something that's worth crossing all political and military red lines over. Who cares who's extracting what? We need to mobilize. They basically said, occupy Sand Rock now. We don't know where they're coming from or how many are there, but we don't have a lot of time. Time to prepare our defenses. We the have first defenses? Thing we should do is send someone on horseback to Atara and Highwind. We must get help from the other free cities. Got it. I'll send people right away. Director Chi, what sort of technology does the research center have in the line of defenses? Uh, things that can be built relatively quickly. I cannot believe this day has finally come. <laughs> what are you gonna make us build? Mayor, now might be a really good time for you to retroactively absolve me of any technological crimes I hope <gasps> Are you serious? Do not have committed in the last, let's say, six, no, seven years. <laughs> I. All right. Do you oh, man. That discussion we had on the subject of turning Making Sandra a deal with the devil. The fortress, just in case, and also for science. And also yes. for science, of you course. Wanted to draw diagrams for all sorts of swords and guns and bombs that we have absolutely. What's no RVO doing in the background? See, he's dropping. Specifically told you not There's no way to he's a part of Duvos. Right. Well, I was bored, so I did design one that somewhat fits in with that wacky religious doctrine that you all seem to so love and adore. A non-lethal. Hyper compressed air cannon. Oh, never runs out of ammunition, blasts large areas of effects, perfect for those pesky invading armies. I suppose. Can we make like a giant one and put it on an automated turret kind of a deal and then put those around town? So that's a yes. Build it, you're in, right? Yes? Yeah, let's lock and load, baby! Well, I think that about settles it. I will dig up the design to make the air cannon turret and get it to you as soon as I get back to the research center. In the meantime, does that mean we could go and do it? Because everything seems to take a day with you. Any extra weapons and armor can make a difference. Could we get some more bullets? Maybe some uh, super bullets? Is that a thing? <laughs> yes, I trust you. Yes, to come super up bullets. With the best defenses we can have available on such short notice. I must admit, I'm far from any kind of military expert. Whatever it takes. Forget about budget. Just Grace, can you call in any of your contacts to come and help us? What the frick? I'll leave you to it. I need to warn everyone. Yes, ma'am. Uh, but let's not put everyone in a panic. Right, that's probably not the best idea. Oh no, what what's Watch. the next steps? Blank check. blank check. Blank anyone check. Why are you saying blank check? Or is he more anxiety inducing than the declaration of war? <laughs> Please keep your head on your shoulders, director. This is not a chance for you to play mad scientist or cartoon robots or whatever it else it is you might be thinking. We need effective countermeasures and we need them fast. Yes, yes, I'm familiar with how time works. At least 
To the extent that anyone else in my field is, <laughs> you will have the best I have to offer. That'll have to do. Can you please speak with your cohort, Mion, and tell her that you both now have one million things to build? Whoa. The still no longer functions, as I understand it. It's sure thing. I both of you builders cranking out this stuff as fast as possible. The fate of Sandrock may very well depend on how you two perform. I'll do my best. I could ask for. All right, let's get to it then. Indubitably. <laughs> Indubitably. Holy sheesh. Wait, why are we Everyone going straight into a cutscene? Oh, she's telling I everybody. Have an emergency announcement. We have credible intelligence that the Duvos Empire will be launching an attack on Sandrock very shortly. I love how Vivi has like a attack. whole bonnet we don't fail situation. Exact, but they're coming. Duvos? A attack? Why are they attacking Sandrock? What's the Alliance doing? Surely they're coming as well. We don't know the exact reason for this aggression, but all communications have been jammed. We can assume they're also disrupting the rail lines. No one is coming to our aid. We have only ourselves. Elsie, get the giant monsters! Life. We're drawing up a plan right now for the defense and evacuation of Sandrock. Check with Heidi if you think you can help. For those of you who wish to fight, report to justice. Please let everyone know. We're going to get through this somehow. <laughs> so really, so you didn't have to end with the word somehow. That is all. Thank you. Light be with us. Watch this. Should we start packing? Be brave. There's everybody. nowhere to go. That's what the Church of the Light usually has to say. <laughs> they're brave, but then they're stupid. How are we to stand against the Duvo's army? Hey. Spider what? Man. Really, Andy? Whatever happened to I believe in Samra? It's a, it's a lot to take in, son. Well, I still believe in Saint Rock. And I hey, ain't nice. Bozos ruin that. I'm gonna whip their butts. <laughs> That's the spirit, Andy. We ain't going down without a fight. That said, Sand Rockers, I need two volunteers to ride for Atara and High Wind to get help. Prom I'll go. I'm the fastest rider here. All right. That's one. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> really, Ryan? Maybe. It's gonna be dangerous, partner. You sure you're up for this? I've made up my mind already. Oh, Riri, I've never seen you like this. I'm tired of waking up at 11.30 and getting around <laughs> to doing something by 2. And sitting around thinking, ah, well, most of the day is gone. Kind of too late to get anything done today anyway. Wow, that's now a mood. I'm going to be the man I always knew I could be. A real father to our future child, Dan Dan. Dan Dan? Wait, is it because your name's Ryan and her name's Dan B and uh, she always calls you Riri? Ooh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you just, just swoon? You. Like, Come swooch ya? <laughs> tut tut, my turtle dove. Tut tut. I must defer your loving embrace until I can face you as a man deserving of such sweetness. <laughs> well, she already thought you did, regardless of you doing this now. So Go what? You'll need his help. You're just denying yourself God, a nice embrace before you leave. Godspeed. So Hor Haru's gone. I didn't notice Logan in the town. Goodbye, Sandrock. The Surprised he didn't also go out. Shall not return. The next time you see me, I will be a man. <laughs> I wonder if he's actually gonna return looking differently. Oh man, that guy. That is a character. I love this game. Oh dang, this it says, oh, I did not know this game was gonna have portions like this. So installing the air cannon will cause the plot to move forward in a significant way. Make sure you've finished any side quests you have currently, as they may conflict with what happens next. The only thing I have the only side mission I have that I kinda care about, but also don't at this point, is I gotta make like a this cool meal for the mystery man, but frick that, dude. So, uh, let's up the wait. I am ready. Wait, what happened? Am I do? Oh, there we go. Where's this? In Where am I installing this? Right at the front? There ain't no way. Why, just in front of City Hall? Well done. Also, also what? The one who will pilot this turret. Uh, why me? I cannot pilot the turret in a real battle. I am scared. What am I going to be shooting at? Actual people? In my head, I, I've never fought anyone before. The rest of the civil corps is incompetent, as well as technology. Incompetent? The only one who stands a chance against an army in the turret is you. Okay, I guess. How hey, now. Going here? We're ready. I've got the defense plan ready to go. Good. Then let's have Only one, one turret? To go over all the plans. You should have at least made like two or three more. And have like other people man them. 
Why would the Civil Corps Thank really everyone. can't? You don't think when Justice could do it? Job, I never thought I'd be a wartime mayor. But <laughs> here we are. So, tell me about our defenses, Sheriff. Yes, ma'am. My plan is to set up a perimeter around Model Square to draw all enemy fire while placing okay. snipers on top of roofs along the main street. The who's who's going to be the snipers? Be an air cannon turret developed by Director Chi and the Builder. We'll be funneling enemies towards it. Hopefully it'll work as advertised. We'll also man a post by the apartment so we don't get flanked from the back. All civilians will be evacuated to the temple. As How do you know they're going to come from that way and they're not going to come from the other way? That you think they're just going to get off the train and start attacking? That's uh, that's about it. That's as good a plan as any. Just hope our riders can call in reinforcements before it's too late. Oh Arrived. man. Is it going to be like a time situation? Well, it's Redonk. left to do other than wait. Everyone, do your best to get some rest. Hey, you rhymed unintentionally during these trying times. I got new pants? Wait a second, though. Let me see those. Yeah, they are pants. I was just checking to see if I had anything else. Uh, flaming action bottoms. My action is flaming. What? Wait, what? My... What did... I don't even know what I said right there. Okay, never mind. Oh, those are pretty tight. I like it. Some solid knee pads for kneeing people or giving them rhinos and whatnot. And sliding across the ground like I'm a freaking rock star. Okie dokie. Hey there. Oh, Banjo's on the bench. The upgrade of the assembly station's weird. I like that it has this arm, but it's just double as wide. And it has this feature on it that's pretty cool that you can auto-assemble, I guess, if you have pets. But I don't have any pets. I mean, I'm guessing you can make pets come here because that looks like a picture of the kind of like the mirror cat with a hard cat hat on. I also made more water stuffs, water collectors, because I think I'm going to need some more because like the last three days I've been hurting on water. And then I also need water for my plants. I need water for all sorts of stuff. That, okay, we're not getting attacked just yet. I think they did say it's the next day, but I think I'm going to leave it off here because I did not know. Well, I was looking back at some stuff and uh, I... I've actually been playing this game for a little while now, and I don't want to make this part too long. It's already long enough, in my opinion, and that's a pretty nice cliffhanger, because in this part, we're going to war. I Oh, I can't believe we're doing it. Oh, this is sick. And we might get married next time and might get a pet. I wanted to get a pet this time, but it seems like it's taken a very long time, because the only thing you can do to raise animals' happiness is chat with them, which gives them, like, one, and then you give them something, and the, the max you can get on uh, giving them a gift is 15, like, 13 to 15. So I think it's going to be slow uh, in order to get a, a friend out here, but he is at two stars. But I still don't know about that. And do I have to be friends with the Magic Hour? I mean, we're just associates and we're not enemies. I'm just associates with Nemo. But I've, give, I've been giving you... I gave you like three scorpions. I gave you a little house. And you still don't like me? Oh, man. Shucks. Well, we're still going to work on it. I still, I still have stuff for him. As soon as he moves in, he's going to have stuff to play with and sleep in. So, I'm ready. I'm ready. My body's ready for war and for pets and for marriage, I guess. Because automation and all that happy crap. So, I do hope you enjoyed. I know I sure didn't. If you did remember these three things, you're beautiful. I appreciate you and have a great one. Bye-bye.